Hey guys, it's Sandra D. I'm super excited today to bring you not only an amazing, amazing entrepreneur, talented photographer, but somebody that I have considered really a friend and a go-to for such a long time, it's scary. <laughs> I realized today, it's been a long time that I have known Leslie Baum. Leslie Baum is a photographer that really has been told that her shoots are life-changing, and I can tell you that that is very true, because I know no one else that can take her passion and turn it into one singular image for an individual that will help that person, like say an author, really represent that source of powerful prose, or a CEO, be the inspiration for a global enterprise. And she works with a lot of names and faces that you would know as well. And even with a celebrity, they really, their pictures really bring out the, the ability for the actor to conjure up a, a whole new reality. And so because of that, she has really been able to grow her business. And I'm super excited to not only have her here to share a little bit about how she did that, but also to share some tips because it's the end of the year, y'all. And this is the time that you should be looking to get some new photographs to head into the new year. So Leslie, tell us, I'm so glad you're here. First of all, thank you, welcome. Thank you so much. So fun to be here. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about who you work with. Now I am focusing primarily on women in business who want to up-level their business and match their vision with their brand. You have been able to build your business in a way that a lot of creatives struggle to do. So what's the secret for your success? Because when I started, you were, you were busy. You've always been busy. But now I see you've got this whole celebrity ranking. You're working with very recognizable people and recognizable faces. So what's the secret? Thank you. Well, I do have a, a great reputation, which I'm very thankful for. And I'm very persistent, which is a good uh, trait. But insofar as photography, what really draws me to photography is the people I shoot. I shoot people, but it's not just the surface. You can have a really pretty picture, but it's more than that. There's such an element of magic and um, the, you know, that three-dimensionality, that personality, that is the deepness. And that's when I find that I'm in my zone of genius is when I connect to my people and, and really connect with their purpose and bring out their best, best side. So it doesn't matter if you're an actor, if you're a, a superstar, or if you're just a, a, a person who is just every day doing your business and um, going out in the world, you need a picture that connects to who you really are. And what does that mean? That means authenticity. What does that mean? Because we hear that word out a lot. Yeah, it's sometimes kind of, overused. Yeah, I'm finding that word is a little overused now. And so what I really want to see is your spark and what brings you to the table and why you want to elevate your world and business and to be seen. And I think the primarily thing, I'll, I'll say one more thing is you have to be willing to be seen in this world, especially with everything going on and, um, and so many people in every single business and to be, to be vulnerable and to be seen is the power. That's what I do. So I've been, that's my path. And um, even back in the, dare I say it, couple decades ago, that was unconsciously what I was doing, and it's just mm -hmm. taking me this long to be able to put that into words. And I think that's, that's something I always encourage. I mean, everything that I do is about building relationships, whether it's through the camera lens, working in video or television, or if it's coaching them to build relationships in person from a stage or in sales presentations, right? It's always about building that relationship. And when you have that relationship with yourself, that you believe in yourself and you honor yourself enough to be a little vulnerable and share that, that's when things really, it's when the magic happens, so to speak. And I always felt that, Leslie, as somebody on the receiving end, and this is something we can, that I just want to touch on too, because if you're looking for a photographer out there, ladies, um, this is a beautiful quality that Leslie has. It. I don't know anybody else would have as much as you, but I felt like I was seen, even when I wasn't as, didn't feel as self-empowered as I guess as I do now. I, I was the beginning of my journey as an actor and all of that when I first met you. And I still felt like you asked questions that really were about me so that I felt very relaxed and I enjoyed taking my picture, which a lot of people are terrified of, right? Yeah, 
they are. And the fear pops up, like that trickle, oh, that fear of, of just, oh my God, getting my picture taken. Wow, this is what I hear. The first hey. two minutes of everyone's like, oh, I hate getting my picture taken. So right? what do you, how do you address that, Leslie, when somebody's about to get in front of the camera and they're, they're anxious or they, or they say, oh, I don't take a good picture? I don't take a good picture. Okay, I want to dispute all of that. And yes. I want to throw all of that stuff that we have from all our life and someone told us we didn't smile right or so, you know, all that stuff and that ick, you got to make sure you just take that and get rid of it because it's not real. It's not true. Yes. Everyone, I find that everyone can take a good picture. You just need a, a professional, someone who does it all the time, who knows what they're doing, someone who knows really great lighting, and someone who knows how to capture the best in people. Um, what I do is I actually talk to you. What a concept. And I ask <laughs> you questions, and I am interested. I just love helping people, first of all, getting pictures, but I think it's all whole experience and I try to connect with you as you are trying to connect with your clients so basically yeah. being the conduit right that's what I'm trying to be so that I can show you in your best light in your best personality having the best fun and you know what I have kind of a fun sassy funny sense of humor and in the shoots I just start kind of like that helps yay here we go and then that makes it makes you or uh, my clients just relax yeah. and able to kind of at least breathe and <laughs> yeah. And you've got the music going and, and that's your studio behind you. As soon as she popped the camera on, I was like, ah, there it is. You know, we're talking about being intentional this month and being intentional in your photo shoots, not just, you know, getting a photographer that's going to do it for the lowest buck. That's not what you should be doing. We'll give that to you in a second, Leslie, of what you should be looking for. Um, but, but, to really be able to understand that a, it's not just a pretty photograph. You're not just looking for a little shot like we're like framed right now. Have a photographer take different pictures of you. If you're in conversation, some of my best pictures that came from you, Leslie, were when you had me laughing and I looked off to the side and you were snap, snap, snap. Those are pictures that over the course of the next year or so, I was able to use with all different things on social media and fun things, um, marketing of all different types because it wasn't just a stayed headshot. It was something that had action to it. It had emotion. It had movement. And that really is something that is invaluable that a lot of people that don't take headshots or take pictures all the time, they don't realize the value behind that. Correct. And I just want to focus and stress intention. So before the photo shoot, it's not just like, oh, today I'm having my photo shoot. Let's just grab a shirt. I think the intention and the real focus beforehand of what I'm going to wear, how I'm going to show up, what the energy I'm going to bring and match that to everything you're doing in your life, personal and business really helps. And then that intention that you set will then educate your new clients. Basically, you'll get new clients if you focus on a higher intention. I'm going to, you know, get myself to this level. Even if you don't wear a huge amount of makeup in uh, everyday life, you have to set the intention that you want to present yourself in a way that your clients can actually see you. Because some mm -hmm. of them can't even hear you if you're not dressed the same way that they think you should sure. look. Or, you know, there's a whole bunch of uh, visuals that really yes. matter. The, the magic is really in your talent and I think your ability to understand that. And, and I think that, um, I think that's your gift. And in a way, I think I have the same gift or I have the same passion anyway, to be able to see what's inside of somebody and have them bring it out and be natural. And I think when you do that, it actually can elevate you in so many ways that even the vision for where your business and your life is going to go, when you get those pictures back from somebody like Leslie, you go, yeah, I am that, which is great. Yeah, as opposed to getting pictures back and being afraid to look at them. Those days are gone. We want those days to be gone for you guys. I want you to feel really good about this. So as we're talking about the photo shoot and being intentional, not just taking a pretty picture, but having photographs that you can use throughout your marketing, throughout your website, I know that you might have a great example of that, Leslie. So what you got? Thanks. Well, I just want to let you know it's more than just a headshot. I mean, you can just, if you're just starting out, you need a really great one shot. You do need a shot that goes on social media and, and so people can find you. But once you get more into your world and the website, you need a plethora 
of images that have personality. And this is uh, Romy Neustadt, who is a client of mine that I shot about six years ago. And then we just reshot, which she rebranded her whole website. And this is the uh, homepage. And then That's great. she kind of has a little, her story, how to, how to work with her. And she uses all these different, um, you know, fun shots yeah. to do lifestyle. These ones were in my studio. And we did something a little kind of fun and um, colorful. Wow, there we go. There's the next one. Uh, she works with her husband too. So they have. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at how he's looking at her. Oh. Right. So that, that's really fun. And then here is a, she uses all her Instagram. images on Instagram. And this is how they, you know, you can put whatever you want to advertise your, your work. And uh, you can go upscale, you can go casual, you can, you know, they, they <laughs> together and so we did some um she needed a full length uh like life-size shot of the two of them so that's what i shot uh for them. that's something that a lot of a lot of folks especially speakers don't think about that that's always a good idea you can crop it if you don't you use all of it. it so it's a great idea um design does help you know a really nice looking website will elevate yeah. your yourself too and with great pictures boom got some new clients you're in los angeles so it is perfectly fine for people to go to LA and work with her. She said a friend of mine from the UK be able to shoot with Leslie a few days ago. So that's cool. Leslie will be flown out if you like. But if you're saying, hey, I can't get out there, how am I going to find a photographer like Leslie? What's your advice on finding a good photographer, Leslie? Great. A few things. Look at their website and look at the people and see if you want to if you can kind of see a little personality or if you like the photos or in, and if there's consistency. So make sure they don't just take one photo and that's their one claim to fame. Make sure everyone that's in their site has a really great personality that you can see and feel. Mm -hmm. And then also, this is kind of a key thing. It's kind of a no brainer. See if you can actually talk to the photographer. There's so many people now that you can't actually get and talk to the photographer it's always an assistant or whatever yeah. so, and and see if you actually feel there's a vibe you've got to be able to like the person because you don't want to be sitting in front of this camera and going ah oh, i hate it i'm uncomfortable i don't like this person you just won't get you I, I, will not get the shot no i've done that and i and before we started to record this you guys <laughs> i actually said that to leslie oh, there was a time that this photographer had me so uncomfortable and was pushing my buttons in all the wrong ways that I, and I have one photograph that I do use just because of the way it was set up that I, I can put stuff next to it in a marketing piece and it works. But every time I look at the picture, I know that in my mind I was going, I am so uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm really hating every bit of this. Yeah. And I can see that in my face and I actually hate to use that photograph. So I need to shoot with you, Leslie, and replace that, please. Hoping that we have inspired some of the ladies that were afraid to get in front of the camera that they can. And Leslie, how do they find you? So two things. Call 213-479- 0970. Okay. Of course, go look at my website and see if you can see uh, some personality. And that is photosbybohm.com. Fantastic. Thanks, you guys. And get out there, get some new shots for 2019, you guys. All right. See you later. Thank you, Leslie. Thanks. Bye.